All right, we're talking about classifying triangles still. And in the last video, we talked about classifying triangles by angles. This video, we're going to throw in sides as well. So we're talking about two different ways to classify triangles. You can think of it as, um, you know, if, if you were a boy in the sixth grade or a girl in the sixth grade, we just classified you two ways. We gave you a gender and we gave you um, a grade level. So that's two different ways we classify you. We can classify you based on what sports you play, what your interests are, what's your, um, what's your favorite movie, what your bedtimes, you know, you could go on and on about classifying. So triangles, these are two ways that we classify triangles. So if we look at this triangle here, you can see we already know what it is based on angles. These are all three of these angles are acute. So I would write in acute for angles. And then for sides, you can see there's um, there's tickle marks here along these sides. I call these tickle marks. These little marks here, one, two, and three. What this means, since they all have the same tickle mark, is that all these sides are the same length. And you can see actually the angles are the same length too. So we have a name for a triangle with all the same side lengths. It's called equilateral. And it's one of three types of triangles that we will look at. So all the sides are the same on this one. And we call that equilateral. And of course it has the word equi in it, or not the word, but it starts with the the, the same sound as the word equal. So equilateral is all equal sides. The next um, slide we're going to look at here, you can see that the angles here, all three angles again are less than 90 degrees. We can call it acute. So this triangle would be considered an acute triangle. And if there was one, tri one angle that wasn't acute, then it wouldn't be an acute triangle. Um, the sides in this case, you can see the tickle marks is a little bit different. We've got one here, We've got one here. So these are the same length, but this one you can tell probably just by looking at it, but also by the tickle marks, that this side is a little bit different in length. So we would say if two sides are the same, at least two sides, we would call this triangle isosceles. And I spell it I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S, -E -E isosceles. So two sides are the same, at least two sides. You could actually have called the last triangle we had isosceles as well, since at least two sides were the same, that equilateral triangle. An isosceles triangle, um, or an equilateral triangle, I should say, will always be an isosceles triangle. Here's the third triangle we have. So um, this time I'm not using tickle marks for the sides, as you'll notice, but first let's get to the angles. You can see one angle here is obtuse. The other two have to be acute, as we learned the other day. So we're going to call this an obtuse triangle. Since one of the angles is obtuse, it's greater than 90 degrees, but less than... 180 degrees. And the sides. In terms of the sides, remember the last one? We had two of the sides the same, and on the first slide we had three of the sides were the same. This this slide here, none of the sides are the same. So the type of triangle that this will be called is scalene. Scalene triangle. All the sides are of different length. And finally, I have just one more. Um, the angles, you can see there's a right angle there. So I would call this a right triangle. And then based on the sides, again, we have two equal sides here. I'm going to call this an isosceles triangle. So that about sums it up. Um, remember that there's three ways to describe a triangle by angles. You could call it right, acute, or obtuse. And then there's also three ways to describe it by sides. If all the sides are equal, we call it equilateral. If all the sides, if if all the sides are unequal, we call it scalene. And finally, if it's one like this where two sides are equal, we would call it isosceles.